Hi guys, Marion here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with an updated stroller review of the Up A Baby Cruise. So it is one year later since I unboxed and initially reviewed the stroller for you guys. So I thought it'd be a fun idea to review it one year later after having really used it, tested it out in the field every day with my family. And I wanted to share with you guys how I feel about it now. Do I still really recommend it? What are the pros and cons? And let you guys know what having it and really using it for a year has been like. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Marian. I make videos about being a mom and being a Jewish mom. And I would love it if you hit that red subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. So when I filmed my first review video of this stroller and the unboxing, I had a little tiny newborn. I think he was maybe a week or two old at the time and a two and a half year old son as well. Now they are all grown up. I have a one year old and a three and a half year old and we still love our up a baby cruise um, and you guys know i really do love this stroller if i say i do because one year ago we actually sold our up a baby vista stroller to buy this one so if i'm not happy with the stroller and it's not working for me i'll figure out a way to improve it but this one is truly still working for us we love it it is our in the car stroller as i call it we take it everywhere we go and we are using it with the kickstand which i don't know if you guys can see in this shot right now but i will um do a little cutaway of it um because my older son like i said is three and a half now and he just stands on the kickstand so let me get into the full review. What do I love about the cruise? I love the size and weight of the cruise. It's not too heavy, but it's still a substantial, great everyday stroller. It has a huge basket, big enough for doing quick trips to the store. I've taken it to all our Target runs, all our grocery store runs, and it's been just perfect for that. I love the quality and the look of the stroller. I feel like it's a very kind of luxurious purchase. I love just the feel of it. it makes me happy, it makes me, you know, excited about going about our day. And I know that sounds silly, but when you're a mom or when you've struggled to become a mom, thinking about things like your stroller and all that, it's just like, it's that vision of what life with a baby's gonna be like. And this has not disappointed. <laughs> okay, so sorry to get a little emotional there. I also love that the seat pops out super easily and that the car seat can pop in. We, of course, now that I have a one-year-old, are too big for our infant car seat. But at the time, we used it every day and it was so easy if he fell asleep in the car, just pop him in this, go to the grocery store, etc. This seat, just like the uh, car seat, can be flipped around with just one easy click, which is so nice. So I'll show you how that works. Just line it up, slot it in, and it clicks in. So that's really great if I'm in a store, for example, and he wants to face out or towards me, or if I've got my two of them and there's something going on, I can flip them around, so that's really convenient. I also love the sunshade on this, the canopy. It goes so far, oh my gosh, like total protection for him, and has this little visor window, which is really nice. So I love all those features. The one upgrade we've made is we bought the snack tray. I will say up a baby accessories are expensive, but again, it's a super high quality stroller that you can resell or re-gift um, as your kids get older. So I felt like that investment was worth it. My baby's always been super comfortable in this. And I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the kickstand. So I mentioned we sold our Up A Baby Vista. And I have a lot of mom friends who are in the similar situation as me where their kids are about two to two and a half years apart. And they all have these big bulky double strollers and the older kid rarely sits on it. First of all, it's so heavy and impossible to maneuver with two kids. And second of all, the older kid, once they can walk, they really don't want to sit in the stroller, especially if you're just going in and out from one errand to another. So for example, when we take my older send to preschool we're just going from the parking lot into a school so my baby goes in the stroller and he just rides the kickstand or if we're just popping in somewhere he's really just happy riding the kickstand and that's made it really nice for us um, I do have a second stroller I have a double jogging stroller which I have a whole nother review video on and an updated one year later review video on so this is not our going for a walk stroller so I will put that caveat in this is our everyday use stroller <laughs> In terms of cons, the only cons I'll say is that if you compare it to a super lightweight travel stroller, you will be disappointed in the size and weight of it. It is, you know, a step to get it in and out of the car. So I actually, every single time, just pop the seat out because it's so light and easy. And then I fold the base, which I'll show you guys really quick. Um, so I never put it all in together. I find it too heavy that way. But yeah, just click the brake, fold it, and that's it and then I lift it into the car like this. 
So some people think that's a little bit of a bath, as they say in England, um, to have to do that extra step, but it doesn't bother me, and I like having it like this, and then I just pop the seat on before I put my kid in. Um, but yeah, I don't find it too inconvenient, and again, like I said, I just love this stroller so much that those minor hiccups are worth it for me. So that is my stroller review one year later of the Upper Baby Cruise. Yes, I still love it. Yes, I still recommend it, even for two kids, unless they're twins, of course, or the older one is not walking yet. Um, but yeah, definitely, I'm so, so happy with my Upper Baby Cruise. And I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comment section. I'll definitely get back to you. I hope this helped you. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more. Let me know if there's any products that I've made reviews of that you guys would like to see an update on because I think it's kind of interesting to see like how it really holds up. So that's all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!